All right, Bruce, like I said, I'd make you a video of uh, puppy stress and howls on the open reeds. Um, I'll make another video for you on a couple diaphragms that are pretty, the easier ones, I guess, to learn. Um, the voodoo, you can do a pup distress on it, but it's really soft, quiet. It's more designed as a, just a prey distress call, but you can do a pup distress on it. It's just a lot quieter, um, but it, it can be done. Um, I prefer to do the pup distress and howl on either the pocket howler or pocket howler or the the black death or in your case you have the juice um for pup distress you're basically putting your top lip right in here bottom lip down here you're 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 biting down and kind of rake the call in and out um across it start up here for a little bit deeper and then you get in higher pitch as you go back towards the tip of the reed. Um, when uh, you're doing it, you're basically, you're, 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 I kind of in my head think of like saying wheat mixed with uh, sh, sh, sh. so that'll get you the, the basics of it. You're just going Once you get that down, then you can start picking up your pace a little bit, going faster, changing your pitch and your tone, um, add a little quiver to it from your diaphragm just by kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, like you would imagine a monster in a movie or whatever, just going, <laughs> just kind of shaking in your diaphragm. You want it to come from your diaphragm into the call to get that little bit of a quiver in your puff distress. Okay, and you're you're adding you're biting down on the reed more and less to change your pitch, raking it in and out to change your, your pitch and how deep it is. Um, sometimes on mine, I like to add a little bit of a growl in there, which is, you're just uh, uh, in there and that'll get you a little bit of this sounding. Okay. And, and as you're growling, I kind of shake the call a little bit in my mouth and I'm, you know, you're, you're moving your hands, uh, cutting off air flow coming out, adding back pressure or releasing back pressure, um, in there to change your, uh, your tone, I guess of it. Um, but you're, you're basically just, just, and I like my pup distress as fast and high pitch as I can possibly get it. Um, which, you're biting down harder on the call, applying more air to get higher pitch. And, and then the fast pace is just as you get used to it and you learn how to control it and everything else, you'll, you'll, you'll pick up how to get a faster pace out of it. Um, but you just got to play with it. Um, just start out, you know. And then just start from there and just kind of faster, faster, change your pitches a little bit, deeper, higher pitch, you know, a little bit of affliction in there with the. Um, so that's, that's on the black death or the juice. I do the same thing on the pocket howler for pup distress um, it's the same thing on the on the voodoo um that, that that's pretty much your basics on pup distress on any open read really you just find that sweet spot in there that works for you i mean some guys are going to start way up here 
some guys stay right on the very tip of it and and when I go on the very tip of it whatever it is I can't I I just lock the reed down I can't get it to to move the reed just locks down on me doesn't it doesn't work for me out there so I, I'm roughly about the middle range of the reed and tone board calling at is wide open big country so towards the end of the stand if nothing's coming in just to get a little more distance out of whatever if I'm hand calling um, I'll use the pocket howler it's a little louder but it does an awesome pup distress just cut off right in the middle of it you know real loud kind of as, as you run out of air just kind of let it keep going so your your call kind of gives out as you give out of air I I think it's more realistic you know if the animals going of course you know they can't just keep going forever they're gonna have to stop and take a breath of air and so are you so use that you know kind of to your advantage as you're going through your call and as you start running out of air and you're you're pushing you know what little air you got left in your lungs out just kind of flow your your calling down with that um i don't know if you can tell when i hit that on here or not but um just kind of gets a little quieter going out you know I just to me you know I guess that's how I figure it would happen in the real world um, so that's that's pup distress on the hand calls I guess I hope it helps if not uh, 